I love the way it feels like Frida starts. It's very sparse. And, and, uh, and, and just, the, just the first line, the sun is coming out again. You know, and that's just something about that that says, oh, we're going somewhere. It's a journey. That's what I love about this song. And it builds as, as you go through the song. Well, you know, what I did love about getting a chance to record with my band in Austin was uh, just knowing that here's, here we are as a, as a family band and getting a chance to put our own, our own feel on these songs that we wrote together. And we got a chance to change them, change them up on the spot. And that, that was really important for me to actually be in the room to, to be at that part of the song, to be from conception of the song and to actually recording the song. That was huge. Not just writing a song and then we go our separate ways. We were able to stay in it all the way through uh, the recording of it. And actually have a say on whether we, you know, want to keep something or add something to the song. That was really huge. A nice, a nice change. A great way to record for me. Storm clouds are breaking. And my worries, they are fading. Esplanade Studios here in New Orleans. New Orleans, New Orleans, Louisiana. Anders Osborne on guitar. Amari Neville from the, the Neville family. You gotta help somebody in the Neville family on your album when you're in New Orleans. Is playing drums, percussion. I feel quite, quite honored to actually be able to pick up the phone and call these folks and they answer. They not just answer, they say yes. <laughs> That's cool. And then we end up with something really just beautiful like this album, Healing Time. My girls, my background singers in there, and they're singing like a, and you know, they're bringing this angelic side to the background vocals, and uh, yeah, I just love the way this song builds. It starts from one end and it ends up in another, another country <laughs> by the end of it. It's one of those songs I wish I had written. That's why I, I, I chose it. It was written by Adrian Gonzalez, but I, I wanted to take it and make it mine. And so I asked permission. I begged, I begged for it. It's, just, it's one of those songs I wish I had written myself, and it's just a really important song. And especially for right now, where we are in Black History and Women's International Women's Month, it just says it all. And I, I'd like to use that as my, my closer these days. I love that song. Thank you.